I'm so happy for you. Commander, I've brought him his order. Ah, thank you. You look surprised. Commander Kunigi's ability to command was brought into question. He is currently confined to his residence. Are you afraid? Of course I am. Knowing that someone can kill or imprison me for no reason does that. Your acts have caused quite a commotion. You do understand the seriousness of this. Regardless of whether you are a Mulian or not, you must know that I have never liked you. However, I am a fair person. My principle is to use anything that's worth using. But I'm not worth anything, am I? True. Except as a key to the Rosalfon, that is. Human relations are nothing more than shared common interests. You are therefore being allowed to live at my whim. What? Now, no, Commander. Let's not forget that I ought to are still adjusting to this new situation. Quiz thing. If you have no intentions of following my orders, then you will be ordered to stay at home like your former Commander. I believe you already know my newly assigned intelligence analyst. Hmm? You are... Well, who's this way you bridge, Bonnie? How the hell would I know? Mishima? Do you know her? You are Mishima, right? Aren't you? But that new babe is mighty fine, too. Traitor! You betrayed your allegiance to the Miss Kwan fan club! The Kwans disappeared. Uh, how true! She's been missing ever since. No, oh, Miss Kwan! No. The scuttlebutt is that the Foundation has her. Are you sure? The Foundation? Hmm. There are rumors that our new commander's from there, too. Oh man, I can't believe how Major Yagamo and Captain Snow have turned into that guy's flunkies. Yeah, truly treasonous conduct indeed. Some people are like that. Lieutenant. I'm grounded, remember? I'm Noah's lieutenant right now. Um, ma'am? Hmm? You sure do use a pretty hanky. <laughs> hey, I'm your superior officer. Have some respect. Hey, I thought you were nobody's lieutenant. <laughs> Bunga Moir. If I recall correctly, doesn't that mean Rose Blossom, back where you come from? Ayano! 
It's me. They said an Ayana Kamina lived here. I guess it was you. Returned. Yes, and my thanks for your part in that. <laughs> I didn't do much, really. Oh, no? Uh, then how did you get here, if not by protecting him? Hmm? You know, I truly envy you. The color of his blood doesn't bother you at all, does it? How could I learn to become more like you, Professor? Oh, that's simple. Try having dinner with him sometime. Then you'll understand. If you don't mind sitting for just a few minutes, I'll draw a bath and get dinner going. I just can't believe that you're here. <laughs> Some group called Tara got me out. They said I had to go to an institution. But I heard that you might be here, so I snuck out when they weren't looking. Tara got you out? I didn't know anything like that happened after. Yeah, lots of stuff happened. Just our secret for now. Do you mean like this between us? So it's okay. Mm. Oh, what do you want me to cook for dinner? Don't you want me to cook? Nope. I don't mind cooking this one time. Hmm. She's kind of like Roko, isn't she? Like Asahina? Is she? Yeah, she is. So, you've been drawn over here too, huh? So, who is this? The one who has my heart. I know that, sir. Very well, then. If you don't want to be charged with aiding Kamina's escape, you must be loyal to me and me alone from now on. You are dismissed. That one is Itsuki's favorite, isn't she? And you always have to try to get everything that Itsuki wants, don't you? And your point. There are only two kinds of men in this world. Those that make women happy. And those that don't. You certainly share some annoying traits with Itsuki. You may tell the President 
that the plan is proceeding smoothly. You're going to drink that on my way to work. Those regs don't apply to me since thanks to someone I'm grounded. And yet somehow you've become the white snake's new favorite. <laughs> Can I play the game or what? Maybe. Or does it just prove you'll do anything to protect the one you love? place sure has a nice view. Uh-huh. I wish Hiroko could see it, too. They're so blue, aren't they? I wonder why the sky and the ocean are so blue. in the mountains behind us. Ramona? Don't worry. 
I'll be back. I'll protect you, Momoru. I'll protect you no matter what. <sighs> Going to pilot the last fire. You what? I just don't want to lose anyone else. I'm right. <laughs> Too bad. Because you will. <laughs>
Mariko eliminated. What about the other unit? No readings. It must have escaped. I want confirmed status on all of the pilots ASAP. Yes, sir. This is the as you can see, quite useful. Hmm. Being as useful as he was today is the least that he can do. Poor Ayato. How can you not know why the sky and sea are blue? The answer is simple. It belongs to those with blue blood. Which means, in the end, that Miss Haruka could be left alone. 